I'll get this on. What do you call this kind of a glass? That's a that's a hand blown and then hand painted. Hand painted, hand blown. And this is a scraped version versus squiggly version of the same type of light dating pre nineteen hundred. Okay. All the rest of these, this is simply a normal or these is the more valuable of the colors, which is the aquamarine color of the um, electrical insulators. Mm -hmm. This is a modern, um, just basically like a caulk type of um, um, caming instead of using a real caming. And those are um, mass produced um, for lighting and stuff. This particular knob, this is a very common knob, a 12 point knob, but it's done with a, a rather good shank on it. In this case, the bottom of the shank. And so that's actually um, um, a higher quality one. There's lower quality ones that are going to be made out of pot metals instead of copper or brass on the bottom. Now, as I, I point some of these, this is a concave top, which makes it more valuable. That little um, four-leaf clover in the top of it, it's an unusual knob dating back probably to the 1800s, 1880, 1870. And feel the weight of it is part of the reason why. You feel the density of that, that's a solid. And this is another one of those jewelry grade kind of. Um, yeah, it is solid. So, yeah. I mean, it's not uh, um, pressed, blown, or anything else. So this would have been made in 1870, back when 12-year-olds pulled that copper out of the mine to make the coal, I mean, the coal out of the mine. So Everything that's considered more of a copper, and that's a brass. This is a copper, heavy copper laden, same as this, heavy copper laden brass. Doesn't tarnish brass. Okay. Um, gold like this. This is less copper. It's also been shined up and then polyurethane. So it doesn't have the tarnish on it that you get over time. These have a patina, a patina or tarnish. Okay, now again, um, 1870s, 1870s to maybe 1880. And this one, same thing on the bottom is all done. Again, somebody's polished this one all up in polyurethane so it doesn't stay shiny. Otherwise, they don't stay shiny. It's another 1880s again, 1880s or so. Again, 1880s again. And it's a five star. See the six point star? And then a six point star on the other one over there. It's a different style of star. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a six-fold, called six-fold knob, six, six times, same pattern repeated six times. And so this is the same pattern repeated four times. It's a four-fold knob. Now these are porcelain knobs, hand-painted porcelain, okay, both of these. And uh, these are American, that's American. And the oh, those hand-painted on the top? I didn't hand, know that. Hand. Wow. Well, they did do decals at one point on porcelain. So at some points there are decals. That's hand-painted, though. Okay. That may be decaled. Okay, and then this is a uh, molded glass instead of cut, so it's a cheaper version of an expensive glass knob. You can tell it's 1800s, um, it's threaded inside, so it's 1880s as opposed to having a screw going through the side into the shaft, which is pre 1800 or pre 1900. Uh, this one pattern on top and bottom again, pattern's in good shape. Um, this is a two piece knob top half and a bottom half of the knob, you see where it's screwed together, and if you open it up inside, you can actually unscrew it and separate this knob. This is actually, um, I call this a, uh, it's a, kind of a broken wrist knob, you see all this pattern on the top of it, and the way this is set is one, two, three, four, so this is a four-fold knob, same pattern repeated four times. Very early, probably 18, again, 1870, 1880, yep. Yeah. This would have been a $95 knob originally, and so you're again that's why you kind of look at that and i would say it's not worth that much it's not that high quality so you could sell that figuring that the knob itself is worth maybe 45. and when it gets to these oh this is a um that's a doesn't match the style but that's a colombian pattern um rosette and it's solid cast as opposed to pressed so cast like that you can see that there um these would have run normally there's a pattern number in there too b214 is the pattern which would be a Columbia pattern, you see that written on the back of it there. Um, I have the okay. catalogs that show that kind of thing, but that goes with the Colombian doorknob normally, which is a very beautiful knob. Um, that piece right there would only be $25 by itself. Just that one little piece. Now the porcelain knob over there is one of the unusual porcelain knobs, and then it's not just a typical white porcelain. So when you get into the more unusual shapes like that, your value goes up a little bit. Um, and the bottom on that, I think, is a newer um, shade. I'm not positive on it. It just it looked like it went together so well. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, okay. That's but probably, I love I love the idea of the, the little tea light candle underneath it. I mean, mm -hmm. that 